Okay, so then two Thessalonians two six, so two two six, and then two Thessalonians two eight, two two eight, and I would just look at it as nine plus one plus one times two. So we're waiting for the second one right now. Second nine plus one plus one event, and then two two eight is. Eight one one times two, eight one one is also equivalent to nine plus one plus one. Now we look at the book of Daniel, chapter seven. So seven is completion in terms of creation. So seven seven is reference back to Genesis seven. Seven to eleven. So it's about Noah prepared the ark and the flood came. Chapter seven, technically, the whole chapter is about the flood, right? Then the book of Daniel seven 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 eight seven nineteen seven twenty twenty one twenty four twenty five. Then book of Daniel chapter eight. Eight nine eight ten eleven twelve, and in Genesis chapter eight, what's the time the flood stopped? And then Book of Daniel eleven chapter eleven. Um, in the Book of Genesis chapter eleven, is about when they built. The Tower of Babel. So, it's all reference to the beginning of the time when they first seen, and the end of time when the son of sin coming right to the world stage. Then the next one is First John two eighteen. There are two ways to look at it: two eighteen or twelve eighteen. So two eighteen, this number is a ritual number for them. Related to sun, moon, and I'm not so sure. I forgot exactly if it's uh related to Pluto or Mercury. So I don't want to spend time to check double check that. But anyway, so then twelve eighteen twelve actually is a um unlucky number I think uh because. Jesus had twelve disciples, and one of them betrayed him. So, twelve kind of signifying um, betrayal, right? And in Strong's Concordance, twelve means destruction, and also the abyss, the bottomless pit. And then eighteen is six plus six plus six. This is equal to eighteen. Okay, the last one is Matthew twenty four twenty four. So we've been talking about twenty four twenty four, means Jesus, right? So that is um the seat of mo- woman, and the seat of Satan, um at war, right? They always are enemies of each other. Okay. So. I think that it's more complicated, you know, in terms of the number、um, from the Bible that are the numbers that are representing son of perdition,、um, because he and the others like Satan. Uh, false prophet and、um, the great hall. Actually, they are represent the end of sin, right? And the beginning of sin. <laughs> so basically, is the the beginning. 